This right here is a Siemens 8PU9000 multifunction meter and it comes pretty costly and that's why it is connected to the transformer incomer side of the PCC panel right here. As you can see, this is the air circuit breaker and down here is the multifunction meter. Other than that, we generally would use the Siemens 7KT multifunction meter which you can see right here. And right now we are going to see how to configure this multifunction meter. In order to configure the system parameters, you would want to press F1 and F3 together for some period of time and you can see the code screen coming up and you just have to press F2 as the password is already 000, press F2 again and you enter the system configuration setting. There are multiple settings. In order to go forward, you can just press F3. In order to go backward, you can just press F1 and in order to enter, you just have to press F2. So I'll just quit here and then go back to setting up the system parameters. I enter that and you can see this system type 4. So I just enter this one and you can see the PT primary setting. So PT primary is already set at 0.415 kilovolts, that is 415 volts. And now I'll just go with the PT secondary. Now there's a problem here. PT secondary is actually 600 volts and uh, in my PT it is 110 volts. So that is a problem. And what we can do is enter this and you can see here the 600 is here. So in order to just go back, we have to press F1 and here you can see the number stick raising and you can see here it is 100. Now, in order to go to the next cell, you just have to enter with F2 and then do the same thing or I can just do in reverse with this F3 and it is set to 110 volts and it takes some time and the whole thing is set. Similarly, you can do the same with CT primary, CT secondary, other stuff like system frequency, DIT and auto scroll if you want to or if you don't want, you can just press yes or no with F2. I'll just go back to the previous one and just quit and after quitting the whole thing you can just press f1 to go back and quit and the whole thing is entirely set up it shows the version and now it is set up so once it is set up you can just check for the voltage if it is okay i believe it is okay just uh scroll further it has number of parameters actually and as you can see the whole thing is set up so that's all for today see you next time